Dan Coates on this, Republican on the Intelligence Committee. And, sir, how are you? Welcome back here Good to morning. America's Newsroom. The president's addressing this later today, this week. Uh, what are we to understand about this, about how prepared we are? Well, I think, uh, you know, while we are militarily and from an intelligence standpoint uh, far ahead of most of our adversaries, use of social media for recruiting, for funding, uh, uh, for support uh, of these organizations, these terrorist organizations, uh, they're at an equal level with us. And so even though this was probably all evidence leads to what you just said in your report, uh, prank, uh, uh, use of uh, the media by others, uh, it really ought to be a wake-up call in terms of where we stand here. Uh, th there is a war going on through the cyber uh, uh, atmosphere, and we need to be prepared to deal with that, because while this may be a prank, may not have penetrated our uh, uh, confidential information, um, it's not that far away from being able to do so. Uh, kind of chasing your tail on this. I mean, do we ever... Do we ever get to the point, Senator, where we can manage it, where we can deal with it, where we can stop it? Well, it's a chess game, and uh, there are talented people on both sides of this uh, that are uh, trying to make uh, the next move. Uh, we do need to take more action here in the Congress and with the administration in terms of protection, information sharing, liability protection. Uh, it is a cooperative effort between the private sector and the government that has to take place in order to try to deter these and things it's, uh, and respond to it. As you know, it's a sensitive line to walk as well. It is. How do we do that? We have to find that balance, but we have to recognize, given all these re uh, recent breaches, whether it's in the private sector or whether it's through government assets or critical infrastructure, uh, there's a lot at stake here, and there's some real drastic uh, consequences that can happen if we don't have the pieces in place to see this coming and to respond to it quickly. In doing so, we need coordination between the private sector and the public sector while respecting people's privacy. That's a very delicate balance well, point indeed to try it to is. find. Well, when you <laughs> mention the phrase drastic consequences, what are you referring to? Uh, attacks on our, our critical infrastructure, the electric grid, uh, what's provided, you know, here we are in the middle of winter, deep freezes, and the, uh, if the electric grid is uh, attacked, we, millions of people are out in the cold. Uh, our financial situation and other c key critical uh, areas of our utilities and financial system, banking, etc., uh, that can really take us down. We have to be aware that this is vulnerable to cyber attacks, and we have to be prepared to deal with it. I thought what you mentioned, uh, you know, about being on an even level. Martin Dempsey told Chris Wallace that on Sunday, too. You know, you can defeat them militarily. You can be years ahead of them. But when it comes to cyber warfare, they're, they're, they, they, there's an even playing field. Quickly, there's an item crossing out of Paris now. Uh, the French are saying the weapons and the money that were used for that terrorist hit last week all came from outside France. I imagine that I'm doesn't not a bit, surprise I'm you. not a bit surprised if that's true. Uh, there is outside funding for this. Uh, we are at a war. Uh, one of the devastating things was that we didn't have a presence, the, the president or vice president ranking official in that photo arm in arm with the rest of the Europe and the rest of the world's leaders. Uh, that sends the wrong signal to our adversaries that the United States has taken a pass on this. I know we aren't, but we should have been there, and it's just not sending the right kind of signals. Senator, thank you for your time. Dan Coates, Republican, yeah, thank you. Indiana. We'll talk again.